If you work in oncology or support cancer patients in any way, you already know this. The words you choose matter. One clear phrase can calm a patient, and one misunderstood term can create confusion in a moment when clarity is everything. Today I'm going to teach you the essential English vocabulary you need to communicate confidently in oncology, professionally, compassionately and clearly. Welcome back to Learning English Pro. I'm Jer, your CELTA qualified English teacher, and this is the home of Medical English on YouTube. Today's lesson is all about building the medical English skills you need for real hospital communication. Before we begin, this lesson comes with a beautifully designed Oncology English Vocabulary Guide available right now in my YouTube store. You'll find full definitions and example sentences for today's video, along with glossaries for chemotherapy, cancer types and even a practice quiz. If you're a student member, the guide is already included in your membership. Just head over to the membership tab right now to download it instantly. All right, let's jump in to our lesson. Let's build your confidence, your clarity and your professionalism with 15 essential oncology terms every healthcare worker should know. Term number one is tumour. Now we have differences in American and British English spelling, so please note this. Tumour. This is an abnormal growth of cells that might be benign or malignant. Now we'll get into these terms in a little bit. Let's check out our example sentence. The scan shows a small tumour and we'll need to run more tests to understand its behaviour. Term number two is malignant. Repeat after me. Malignant. Malignant describes cancerous cells that can grow quickly and spread to other parts of the body. Let's check out our example. The biopsy confirmed the mass is malignant, so we need to start treatment soon. Term number three is benign. Benign. The term benign means a non-cancerous growth that does not spread to other tissues. The results are reassuring. The tumour is benign. Term number four is metastasis. Metastasis. This relates to the spread of cancer cells from the original site to other parts of the body. Let's check out our example. We need to check if there's any sign of metastasis on the latest scan. Term number five is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. And of course, chemotherapy is a treatment that uses powerful medications to destroy cancer cells. He'll begin chemotherapy next week and will monitor his response closely. Term number six. We also have radiotherapy. Repeat after me. Radiotherapy. Radiotherapy treatment is one that uses targeted radiation to destroy cancer cells or shrink tumours. The radiotherapy sessions will take place daily for six weeks. Term number seven is a positive one. Remission. Remission. Remission is a period when cancer signs and symptoms reduce or disappear. Your scans show no active disease. This means you're in remission. If you're enjoying this lesson and want to pick up the guide, it's available right now in my YouTube store. It's full of lots of additional terms related to cancer and chemotherapy. It's super useful for healthcare workers. And if you're a member of my student membership, you can head over to the membership tab and pick up your copy right now. Let's move on to term number eight, relapse. Relapse. Relapse means when the cancer returns after a period of improvement or remission. Let's check out our example. We're concerned about a possible relapse, so we'll run additional tests. Term number nine, biopsy. 
Repeat after me. Biopsy. A biopsy is the removal of a small sample of tissue to examine for cancerous cells. A biopsy will give us the most accurate information about the type of cells present. Term number 10. Staging. Staging. Staging is the process of describing how advanced a cancer is based on tumour size, lymph node involvement and spread. We'll complete the staging assessment before deciding on a treatment plan. Term number 11. Immunotherapy. Immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is a cancer treatment that helps the immune system recognize and attack cancer cells. Let's check out our example sentence. He may benefit from immunotherapy, depending on how the cancer responds. If you're enjoying this lesson on Medical English, make sure to subscribe to Learning English Pro, the home of medical and professional English. And check out my student membership. You'll get a PDF guide every time I publish a new video. As a student member, you'll also gain instant access to my complete library of PDF guides covering lots of lessons in medical and business English. There's so many perks with student membership. You'll get fast replies on your comments and your requests, and you'll also gain access to my video library of over 300 English lessons covering every possible topic. Let's get back to our lesson. We're almost finished. Term number 12 is palliative care. Repeat after me. Palliative care. Palliative care is supportive care focused on relieving symptoms and improving quality of life during serious illness. Let's check out our example sentence. Palliative care doesn't mean we're stopping treatment. It's about comfort and support. Term number 13. Lymph nodes. Lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are small glands that filter lymph fluid and can be affected by cancer spread. We'll check the lymph nodes to see if the cancer has spread beyond the original site. Let's move on to our second last term, prognosis. Prognosis. Prognosis is the expected development or outcome of an illness. It's too early to give a full prognosis, but the treatment plan looks promising. And now it's time for our final term, targeted therapy. Targeted therapy. This is a cancer treatment that blocks specific molecules involved in tumour growth. Let's check out our final example sentence. Targeted therapy is an option because the tumour carries a particular genetic marker. Well done for getting to the end of the list. That's your oncology vocabulary lesson for today. If you want to sound more confident, more professional and more natural when talking about cancer care, start practicing these terms right away. Even one or two of them can completely transform the clarity of your communication. Remember, you can download the full Oncology English Vocabulary Guide in my YouTube store or simply grab it from your membership tab if you're already a member. If you found this lesson helpful, do three things for me. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already and drop a comment. Tell me which term was new for you today or what topic you want me to cover next. That's all for today. Thank you so much for learning with me. I'm Jer from Learning English Pro and I'll see you in the next lesson.